outside. It is electric inside the San Juan Arena as the semifinals begin for two teams who approached the 2022 Open Conference differently. One team stayed intact and banked on chemistry, continuity, and has served them well being familiar with each, with each other, while the other team retooled and took in almost half a team's worth of new and talented players to propel themselves to this stage. For the very first time, sister teams are meeting in a playoff setting and only the fourth time in their young sibling history. Thoughts Carlos and the rest of the Creamline Cool Smashers are gonna face and go head to head with Captain Latino and the rest of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Are you team Good Vibes or team Titan Pride? Are you for pink or purple? That is the question today here in semifinals. Game number one for their series and semifinals match number two for today. Hello everybody and welcome to our coverage as Eliza Valdez and the rest of the gang is getting ready to go here in their semi-final matchup. This is match number 26 and day 11 of your Premier Volleyball League, the first and only professional volleyball league in the country. Boone Gonzalez together with Mela Tuna and Mela. It is April 1. <laughs> <laughs> it is supposed to be a joke, but mm -hmm. no joke on our matchup. It's the first time that they're going to see each other in a playoff setting. Definitely, and it's pre-pandemic vibes here at the arena. You know, Boone and I are being surrounded by a sea of pink and purple. Yeah. So we're going to see the main game today. It's a full pack volleyball afternoon for our PBL fans. Three games tied today, and we are down to the most awaited matchup this, between this rivalry. Team. It's no prank, kumbaga. Wala. Oh. It's no prank <laughs> that uh, we are here at this stage today. Uh, can you take us how we got here, how they got to the semifinals, and also, ano nangyari? Meron magandang nangyari in uh, the games today also. Well, kanina nanalo ang signal contra Petrogas in three straight sets, but uh, right now, ayan nga magaharap ang green line at Choco Mucho. This sibling teams will go up against each other at uh, both uh, these teams came here in the set in the quarterfinals with twice to beat advantage, even Signal and Petrogas, no? but they didn't need or hindi nila na extend yung, yung quarterfinals right. into another game. Kaya lahat sila, they didn't need their advantage Correct. coming to the semifinals. Pero the stakes are still high here because as we know, volleyball is a game of momentum. So whoever wins game one will definitely have a big boost in game two, which will happen on Sunday. Sunday. And uh, in front of a uh a bigger, a bigger setting, crowd. a yes. bigger crowd, bigger setting. We'll talk more about that a little later on. But sabing Animela, all the t these teams took care of business and took care of business early, right away. Let's focus our attention on the Creamline Cool Smashers. They're coming off that rematch from uh, the finals of last year. Let's go back to March 28, 2022, as the redemption tour continues for Creamline. Sabing natin, diba? They wanted some sort of uh, revenge against the team that booted them out in the finals, kahit na lamang sila dun sa serie. So medyo mapait yun mm -hmm. para sa cream yun lang yung yari. Pero they disposed of their opponents in four sets. That's right. Naging malaki nga yung bawe ng cream line against defending champions Cherry Tigo in that last game in the quarterfinals. Uh, winning that game in four sets. At makikita natin yung stats. Napakalaki ng difference in uh, the spiking department. Diyan talaga sila nag-pull away. Tallying 58 attacks compared to just 37 of Cherry Tigo. Despite having um, import caliber players in their team, we have Mylene Paat there, who's the lone double-digit scorer in that game against Streamline. Diba din din Santiago Manapat was there, but in that last game also, full display ang uh, blockings netong Streamline. And uh, although they committed 27 errors, enough na yung naging distribution ng... Uh, ng cream line sa kanila mga spikers because five of their attackers scored double digits in that last game. Oh. And syempre, if you have anyone to highlight for that, it's this girl on your screen, Gia Morado de Guzman, really maximizing the strengths of her attackers. And it's misleading sometimes when we see that ma madami silang errors no? because high risk, high yes, reward no. team etong cream line. Of course, the engine is being run by that girl whom you saw earlier, Gia de Guzman. Now, I did mention in that game, I remember saying that coming into that match, they only had 10 blocks mm -hmm. as a team when they went 3-0. They had nine in that matchup. Three of them belongs to that girl. What can you say about Pangs Panaga and her um, quarterfinal effort? 
Well, if there's anything that Dreamline really has to utilize, it's their middle game, no? Kasi kilala na natin um, how Carlos moves, Galanza, even Eliza Valdez, diba? Three of the um, best spikers, ibig sabihin yung pinakamatataas yung porsyento when it comes to attacking, nandito sa cream line. So they oh. really have to mix it up a bit para hindi sila masyadong maaral. Especially we're in this part of the tournament na crucial na yung bawat galaw nila. And um, as we look at our screens, 11 attacks, 3 blocks, and 1 ace for Jeanette Panaga. And as we know, MVP caliber naman talaga ito si Panaga. She's won a couple of awards here in the PVL. And even back to her collegiate day, she won best blocker, uh, best spiker, and best server. So now, pinagsasama-sama niya, especially that we're here in a pro league. So, full display talaga yung kanyang pagiging MVP caliber in that last game against Cherry Tigo. And tama rin, ano, na dumarating siya at the right time. Yes. Quarterfinals, maybe in the semifinals. At syempre, hangat nila, Mela, ay mapunta sa finals. All right, let's uh, listen to what uh, Bangs Panaga had to say in this interview prior to the start of this game. Well, after uh, how many years nakabalik kami, sobrang happy kami na and nag-enjoy kami talaga sa fans na nag-watch and uh, sobrang nakaka-boost and nakaka-boost na moral and inspiration namin sila sa paglalaro. Well, you in-emphasize namin sa training namin yung coverage since malalaki yung kalaban namin, since malalaki yung Choco Mucho and syempre yung um, kung paano yung mga gagawin namin sa loob ng court yung counter attacks namin for them. Uh, wala naman personal siguro, it's just a game and kailangan lang namin ilaro yung best namin and maging all out sa game. All out effort, ang yan ang makikita natin, not only with her, I'm sure the rest of the cream line cool smashers as they go up against their sister team, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, who ended up at number four last year. Disappointed sila doon, naubusan ng konti, physically, mentally, emotionally drained, but they want to do better in this conference, obviously. Pongay Gaston, the one you saw earlier, did very well in that fifth set. So, which means, that was a five-setter. Gutsy, gutsy game by the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Napakaganda na may pinakita nila, Mela. That was the third, fifth setter of our tournament, of our conference. Pangalawa, para sa Choco Mucho. I was gonna say, Boom, na pagka five sets yung mga laro, talagang uh, hindi nagpapatalo itong Choco Mucho. And as we see in their stats, medyo na outnumber sila ng PLDT in terms of attack, 65 kumpara sa 62 nila. Pero... Tignan mo yung difference when it comes to the errors, di ba? PLDT tally, mm. 43 errors, mm. almost more than half, di ba? Nang 26 errors itong Choco Mucho. And I guess that comes from them being so intimidating in that net, di ba? Kita natin dito sa blocks, mm. sampu kumpara sa dalawa lang ng PLDT. At uh, even yung defense nila were at full display during that last game against PLDT. Of course, um, Dina Wong and uh, then the Lazaro Revilla manning the floor for Choco Mucho. And at the same time, yung blocks talaga ng Choco Mucho with the help of, of course, Bea De Leon and Aduque Gonzania. Talagang naging threat ito uh, kontra sa PLDT High Speed Hitters. And I guess that's the thing that forced the team na mag-commit ng 43 errors and it, it led to that fifth set kung saan ang ganda nga ng bunot kay Pongay. Very crucial yung mga points yeah. niya at nanalo sila doon 15 to 11. At paalala lang din natin, they had to sila in that match. They were down two sets to one uh, when they made that comeback. Uh, in that quarter final match of three players in double figures. Cat Tolentino, of course, Duque Agensanya, whom you mentioned earlier, played very well with 12 points. And the girl that you're about to see, 18 points for Isa Molde, her best tally so far in this conference. Before that match, before that quarter final match in the, uh, against PLDT, she has only had seven. Yun ang niya, seven. She had 18, and boy, they needed each and every one of that uh, 18 points, Mela. And uh, yun nga rin yung medyo concern natin sa Choco Mucho. No? We know they're a strong team, but we always mention that Catolentino needs more help. At eto nga yung pinakita ni Isa Molde against PLDT last game. She was very steady, she was very consistent, tallying 18 points coming off from 14 attacks, 3 blocks and 1 A. So it's definitely an overall game for Isa Molde. And they're gonna need that now, mm. of course, facing off a team na ganun din, na kompleto din yung lineup and uh, yung mga players sa cream liner all around players as well. At alam naman natin, speaking of all around, ang tindi rin dumipensa mag-dig at mag-receive nitong si Isa Molde. May isa pang matindi dito. Actually, marami. Maraming matindi. Matinding matchup. There are a lot when it comes to this team. And we will talk about that all throughout the match. 
But let's talk about the two best scorers and the two best attackers of the tournament. Alam mo ang hirap no kapag uh, sasabing Choco Mucho at Cream Line, ang ganda ng battle of opposite hitters. Of course, talking about uh, Catalentino who is our leading top scorer in the whole league. At ito naman si Tots Carlos, um, number two rin sa, sa top scorers. Pero when it comes to efficiency, lamang si Tots Carlos dahil uh, mas mataas yung porsyento niya pagdating sa atake. And I guess it also comes dahil mas mahirap siya bantayan dahil mas maraming options na ginagamit itong green light. And let's take note also that Catalentino played one game more than uh, Tots Carlos dahil sa right, pool, right. Sa pool A, right. um, lima silang team sa galaban-laban doon. Pero pagdating sa power, both of them can deliver the goods. And speaking of delivering the goods, we know Choco Mucho and the Green Light Cool Smashers will do that for all the fans watching on the One Sports. Let's get the match going as we bring you our in-venue announcer to give us our starting six. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Lumer Pajarillo. Second referee, Mr. Nestor Matematico. Let's welcome our starters from Chocomucho, Flying Titans. Let's begin with our team captain, number 14, Isabel Beatriz de Leon. At number two, Desiree Renea Cheng. Wearing jersey number three, Maria Dina Isabella Wong. At number 10, Katrina May Tolentino. Wearing jersey number 11, Aduke. Christine Ogunsanya. And at number 17, Maria Lina Isabel Moore. Ibero, number 13, Denise Lazaro Navilla. Head coach, Mr. Oliver Alan Almadro. Calling on our cream line, cool smasher. Team captain wears jersey number two, Alisa Valdez. At number six, Jeanette Panaga. Wearing jersey number 12, Julia Melissa Morado de Guzman. Number 13, Celine Domingo. Number 15, Jessica Margaret Galanza. And number 18, Diana May. Carlos. Libero, number 11, Kyla Atienza. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. This is game one of the semifinals. Starting six for Titan Pride. And the girls in purple. And really no changes there. But the cream line cool smashers, the girls in pink. Girls who practice good vibes. And the man ng ating uh, starters, San Domingo. Janet Panaga right there in front. Ang malakit tanong, sino lamang sa hiyawan dito, Mela? <laughs> Kaya mo ba sabihin? Eh, Oo nga eh, ang hirap pa rin eh. Pero, <laughs> ano na talaga yung hinintay ng mga fans natin. This is our second game day na may live audience tayo. Ano ang una mong babantayan dito in the early goings of this match? Anong gusto mo makita? Well, um, it's, na, nakita natin yung starters ng parehong ko po na, no? Chili the same suspects. Pero it's also good to note na Isa Molde is starting um, for Choco Mucho, no? Replacing Pongay Gaston in the starters. Especially given her performance last game. At kung may babantayan ako dito, it's how well both teams will utilize yung kanilang middle game, di ba? Para ma-separate right. natin yung blockers from the main gunners. Of course, both teams having yung mga outside and wing spikers nila as the main option. How well will both centers utilize yung middle game ng kan kanila kukunan? Mela, kala ko winning, winning point kayo eh. <laughs> kala ko match point na yung pinakikinggan natin eh. That was the first point 
and it was a long rally, and it was Gia de Guzman winning it. Cream line 1 0. Tolentino. Scratching the line was Eliza Valdez. Well, if there's anything from that last fight, masasabi po from all the games that I've watched Eliza this conference, mukhang all out yung galaw agad ni Eliza dito. Um, napapansin ko actually in their previous matches, talagang hinahaya yung mga bata. Yes, eh, yes. Pero as we know, the Phenom in crucial games, talagang siya yung nagde-deliver dyan. And it's good na makapag-post agad siya ng threat in this game as Wh early as now. Right, which was her, her intention even from the start. Even nung last conference, Mela, sinabi na niyan, the reason why nandyan sila MG noon, di ba, sila Tots, Gemma, who became an MVP in the BBL also, is so that she can pick her spots, so she can do her thing at the right moment. And now, semi-final seems to be the right moment. And back-to-back -back points agad for Eliza Valdez here in the first set. At uh, yun yung maganda, it's very impressive for a veteran to think like that, no? Na magbigay talaga siya ng spotlight sa younger players. But anytime she's needed in a game, she'll definitely deliver. And gagaling naman din. Katulad nung, nung block na yun. Ang galing nung basa. And this will be the crucial one for Choco Mucho. Dahil they're going up against the number one attacking team. The most efficient attacking team. With obviously the spotlight always on Eliza. Double block by... Beadel and Capitolentino. You can't forget that the towers of Chocomucho really are intimidating, lalo na kapag ka, yung place ng kalaban ay very easy to read. Whoa! But nothing is easy to read from that last attack from Tots Carlos. Oh, yung labanan ng ate mga OH, mga composite hitters ay magandang uh, simula. Baon na baon yung palo ni Tots Carlos cross court from the right bin for the 4-1 count. Cream line, by the way. And uh, Choco Mucho have met four times, or sorry, three times prior to today. Hindi pa nakakaisa, Mela, ang Choco Mucho sa cream line. So they want that win badly. So now that they've retooled, they have more players, yes. diba? And uh, it's not just players na Basta, basta lang. They're really all-around players yung mga nakuha nito. First song about Des Cheng, whom we know is very good from offense to defense. Another long rally. Tots again. Denden sets it up. Even longer, said Domingo puts it away. Look at the transition from both teams, no? From defense, makaka-counter attack sila and Yung sipag ng middle blockers at middle attackers itong cream line. It's very on point. Set Domingo also doing great in that last game. Tallying double digits in uh, against Choco, against Cheritigo. This is her best conference so far oh, in the PBL for sure. So I said in the quarterfinals, Mela, tinanong ko si Eliza Valdez as they score in that sequence. Prior to last conference, I ko sino yung mag mag impress sa tao, sabi niya si Tots. This conference, I ko sino na impress siya sa practice, sabi niya abangan yung improvement is said Domingo, which is exactly what you're saying and what you're seeing for Green Line. Makinig na tayo sa timeout ni Coach O. And that's why yung outside hitters natin, yung wings natin, hindi naka-position mabuti para maka-atake. Okay, now, Bea, listen to me. Tingin ka sa receive. Nauna ka pa, nandun ka na kagad. Wala pa sa kamay ni Dina yung bola eh. Okay. Now, again, again. Matouch natin. Malaking bagay. And, and keep the hustle. No problem. Keep the hustle. Just keep the hustle. The last time these two teams met was August 4, 2021 at Nanalo in five sets as you see. CC Rodina. Bernadette Bonds, kasama mo kanina, yes. Mela. You had pictures with them. You were talking to them uh, straight from the 2022 Australia. Nanalo sila ng silver in their volleyball tournament. Tama. Derecho agad dito para sumuporta sa cream line. Australian Championships. Balik tayo sa ating laban. Napakaganda nung naging reaction na yun ng Choco Mucho from Coach Oliver's instructions as we heard. Sabi niya kanina kay Bea, nauuna pa siya, kaya hindi kumakagat yung blockers. And this, um, this situation, nakita natin si Lito Migo, hindi na nakablock kay Kat Tolentino dahil napakagat na ito ni Bea de Leon. So that's gonna be crucial also in today's match, no? Yung very specific instructions ng mga coaches and how well masusunod yan ng mga players. 
Rally's ongoing. Domingo sends it to the other side. Two sixes are scored. Free ball for Dreamline. Gia chooses. Tots. Too high. Atienza. Babalek kay Kaloy. Dreamline is just moving fluently here in the beginning of our set. At makikita mo kahit na nandun na established na yung blocker si Tots Carlo. She's gonna go all out with power. At uh, she got that point. And you know, the blockers. Yung mga opposite hitters natin din kasi. Iba rin yung mechanics nila, no? In terms of, they have the same power, but in, in terms of the approach, in terms of the variety of spikes, uh, iba yung mechanics nila, no, Mela? That's right. At uh, yung ball control din kasi. Mm. Diba? Speaking of ball control, there was total control from that Todd Carlos jump serve. Talagang ikot-ikot yung bola. Oh, talaga yung top spin brought that ball back down right in the court. It is 8-2, cream line ahead in the first set. The PVL 2022 Open Conference is also available on Smart Giga Play. Let's go to Alexis Tinsai, who of course is working the second game still here uh, at the San Juan Arena. Go ahead, Alexis. With 16 smashing points last game, Jamal Galanza mentioned to me na inaral nala ang plays ng Choco Mucho at ngayong araw na ito bibigyan nila ang kanilang tiwala sa isat isa puso at best na laro yung aagat daw sa Cool Smashers ika ng Queen Falcon ay ang chemistry ng team na namumuo na raw ng limang taong mahigit. And instead of thinking that they are getting older, they are just getting wiser and wiser with their strategies. Kaya naman abangan natin ang chemistry na pinakirapan nila makuha with only body language as their communication in the court today dahil wala raw silang marinig. Let's get the smash party started with Cream Lines Vigor and Flying Titans Hunger. Well, Alexis, eh, as I said, in sa ating opening, ano, it's that familiarity. Maraming nagsabi, bakit hindi sila gumala, bakit hindi sila nag-recruit ang tahimik nila ng off-season. This is why. Because they felt, sabi ni Coach Sherwin, pag maikli yung tournament at maikli yung paghahanda, ang may mga advantage, eh yung intact at saka yung familiar with each other. And that's what we're seeing. Right now, it is 9-3. Take a look at their lineup. Wala naman ding kapalit palit sa kanila. <laughs> Yun din, at, eh. Uh, yeah. Alalim, eh. Yeah, there's this game against, I guess, uh, in the Elims na talaga utilize sila yung mga second stringers sila and everyone's able to deliver. Pati sila Pao Soriano, di ba? Nagpangitang gila sa Saliza Valdez with the service ace. 10-3 is the start. This is a dream start para sa Creamline Cool Smashers and a horrible nightmare so far for Choco Mucho. Ito yung ayaw mo kasi psychologically oh. makauna itong game line, yung veteran team and a team that has beaten you thrice in your young history. This one's out though. It's uh, the high risk, high reward sir, that we're talking about. It's either ace or error but you have to back on it. Yung risk talaga nandun especially in big games like this. Going up against one of the most defensive teams in the tournament. 24 aces so far for cream line including the last two that we saw here in this match. Monte delivers the serve. Underhand set. Galanza puts it away. There's anything to highlight dito kay Gemma Galanza. It's really how she angles her hits, no? I mean, she's not the tallest player here in the conference. Not the most powerful, although we know if power lang, kaya kaya so ba ni Gemma, sumabay ni Gemma. Pero that's really what sets her apart. Kung paano, or kung gaano kabilis niya pinapalo yung bola. Kaya laging nakakalusot sa mga blockers. 43 spikes so far in the tournament as a service error again. 
Yan ala, yun nga. Something we expect from them kasi kinakargahan nila yung kanilang first point of, of offense. And that's why even if they're not one, one of the better blocking teams, Mela, nakaka-score sila sa serve. They're, you know, they've uh, obviously have efficient attackers. They make make up for yung lack of blocking at saka yung errors, you know? Actually, offline nga, pag may kausap ako, ang lagi kong hinahighlight is yung system ng cream line. Sobrang, sobrang line, sobrang organized. And I guess it comes with the familiarity that you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Lumer Pajarillo talking to Eliza Valdez, our first referee, giving the point to Choco Mucho. As I was saying earlier, the last time as we look at this, let's take a look at this, Mela, can you, can you take me through this? Well, medyo off timing si Panaga, pero ang tawag kasi ng uh, ating referees, hindi daw tumawid yung bola, mm. but exactly, nakita natin na sa kamay mm. ng blocker, oh. so... That's one of... Tough call. That's one of the toughest calls in volleyball talaga. I'm always on the fence with those not over calls. And nakikita pa natin yan on replay, ah. So imagine na lang yung mga referee. 12 will be serving 6. Front line here for team line as the Guzman serves. That's over. Giving a free point. So na kailalang dun sa bola si G and that serve, but they have a comfortable lead here, and now you can also see a full front line here for the Choco Mucho flying Thailand. So we are yet to see this Cheng fire up in this set. Mela, bakit? Hindi ko, na, hindi ko gets. Bakit nagkakagulo ang tao? Uh, I don't know. The fans are going wild. Serve. Serve lang naman yun. Service lang naman yun ni Dina na tinarget si Gemma. And strategically, di ba? <laughs> Kapag ka minsan, i-eliminate mo kasi yung no, outside, ano. Outside oh, spiker mo. Yung attacker na. Uh, one of the main attackers para mahirapan through transition sa pag-atake. So I don't know why the fans are ko, going hindi crazy. Hindi eh. Baka it's just an April Fool's uh, thing. Uh, uh. It might be that. <laughs> Kato Lentino. Bumalik ang bola sa Choco Mucho. Gemma. Thoughts. Pushes it to the other side. Tolentino. Mataas yung clearance. At Tienza will go to Eliza. Valdez. Puts it away. No blocker there for Eliza Valdez. And hindi mo gugustuhin na wala dumipensa kay Eliza sa ibabaw. It's gonna be very easy for the Phenom as we go to this timeout. Pangalawa na yata yan, ano ni Coach O dito sa ating first set. Yung mga ganun doon, yung kaya nga mo kuhanin, ayaw mo kuhanin. Yung mga hindi mo dapat tinatalon, tinatalon mo. Yung atake mo, wala sa timing. Na kay Dina naman na yung bola ngayon, wala ka pa. Okay, listen up. Again, look. Look, girls. Nakaka-defensa tayo, nakaka-block. Bakit ayaw natin tiyagain? Tiyagain natin, papaluin eh. Huwag niyong pitawan basta-basta, Bea. Huwag niyong pitawan. Okay. Okay. Again. Nakaka-receive, nakaka-serve, nakaka-defensa. Kailangan natin umatake. Okay? Hey, Titan! Hey! Hey, Rosario, who has been watching since nung ating quarterfinal, uh, sorry, semifinal match kanina na Napanalo na signal over Petrogas, so they lead their series one to zero. How about that match? Pag-usapan lang natin real quick. Sets two and three, lamang na yung Petrogas, pero hinabol both sets ng signal and sila yung may panapos sa sila yung lamang sa semi. I guess yung ano, yung mental toughness din ng team, they don't look like they're rattled, di ba? Regardless if lamang yung kalaban nila or hindi. And it comes with maturity, of course, with Dakis na pinapakalma talaga lahat and Ses Molina also delivering the goods in crucial times. Talagang hindi sila mararatel kasi they are very confident with each other. Hindi rin mararatel so far itong cream line. Nagpasok na ng player si Coach O. Terry Ludag is in the match as Galanza is unable to dig up that Cap Tolentino attack. Mali pa yung approach or mali pa yung pasa pero nagawan pa niya ng paraan. Kat Tolentino adjusting mid-air and Eliza didn't go for the block. And as you know, as a potent attacker, the leading scorer in the tournament. 
Kahit anong posisyon, kailangan talagang bantayan yung Kat Tolentino. Another one. Boy, that sounded loud. You know, Kat Tolentino just keeps getting better and better every conference. Uh, we know na in terms of scoring, kaya-kaya naman. Ilang beses na rin siya nanalo ng best scorer plum. Pero yung power, mas namukas pa rin talaga ngayon. Her advantage over Tots Carlos sa ating scoring 91 to 75 dahil yung volume ano yung yung volume ni Dina Wong talaga kadalasan kay Kat Tolentino pagdating naman sa accuracy it is Tots Carlos naman na may labang but in the meantime their go-to player is trying to bring them back here in this match Tolentino with the third straight point and Coach Sherwood Manessas will call timeout as his lead is down to five It's going to be a challenge for coaches to talk to their players during timeout, Mela, with this kind of frenzy here at the Philo Flying V Center. And kanina nga si Coach Ono, narinig natin, dalawang timeout na siya, pero she was addressing her instructions to Bea De Leon kasi yung pagpasok daw ni Bea ay nauuna. Kaya hindi siya nagiging decoy, effective decoy, at mas nababantayan yung mga outside hitters nila kasi hindi ko makagat sa kanya. So, Coach O wanted her to time yung pasok niya better. So let's see what happens after this timeout. Dina Wong gets a hand on it. Another chance here. Gia, back set. Cross court. Dodds Carlos right now. Six. Sorry. 16-10 rather. Ang ating talaan. Second technical timeout. Creamline restores the lead. Sulit saya ang inyong panonood kasama ang Sulit TV, Entertainment, Sports, News, and Information. At dito lahat, mapapanood ang TV5, One Sports, One PH, at lahat ng free-to-air channels. Siksik na, digital, at malinaw pa sa alagang 780 pesos. Tumawag lang sa 0288885555 o maaari rin pumunta sa piling authorized stores nationwide. Mabibili rin sa Shopee at Lazada. Bisitahin ang Sulit TV Facebook page para sa iba pang mga detalye. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Pili na. Sulit TV powered by TV5. It is the Creamline Cool Smashers and their lead is down to five after Cherry Nunag announces her uh, entry. Para kay uh, Cherry Nunag, she's also had a, a good conference here at Choco Mucho. Not as much court time, but every time she's there, Mela may impact them. And she looks like she's in incredible shape for this open conference. You have to remember also, nice and some mga awardees natin in the previous conferences. Sa At, uh, Metro Gas. Yes, and, and in her former team. Yeah. As Eliza Valdez, Lini his. She wanted to go for that frontline kill, pero medyo sumo. 16-12, two straight points after the technical timeout for Choco Mucho. Some things you don't see on screen, no? Pag uh, si Eliza, pinapakalman niya yung team, of course, with all the noise. And with all the in-game um, situations, kung paano niya pakalmahin yung team. And this is how they come back whenever she does this. And uh, ito nga, si Lito Mingo, one of the players na sinabi ni Eliza daw. Very impressive ang improvement. Kita-kita naman natin yan. Y yung, yung power, timing, mechanics, really worlds apart. She was uh, already good before, pero yes. yung talagang vast improvement. The same with Gemma. 
The same with Tots nung napunta sila dito sa cream line. We could say it's the system and the coaching no, that sure. contributes to the players' growth. Training nga daw nila. Tina. Ball there. And then, oh, Hubble, then he said, Domingo, intention wasn't to block but to check the ball para mapabagal nila. Pinalik kay Isa. Isa. Galanza was there. Tots. I kept mentioning about the system of free line and Ida Nadal and Linis no palo na ni Molde, but it was a perfect defense by Gemma Galanza and they were just really able to counter attack perfectly with that Tots Carlos back row hit. And dalawang uh, UP fighting Maroons teammates, good friends going at it there in that sequence. 44% accuracy para kay Tots, six points on five attacks. For Tots Carlos so far, at sumagot naman si Isa. And, uh, syempre, ang ganda ng reaction na yun ni Isa. Kanina yung malakas na palo niya, na depensa ni Galanza. And now, she uses an off-speed off off speed hit. At, uh, ayan, pababa na nga yung blocker. So, there's less control kapag ka ganyan ang timing ng blocker sa bola. And she managed to score that point. Sabi, nga, Choco, ni Choco. Oh, sabi nga ni Mela, siya yung pumalit sa starting six for this match. Instead of Pongai. That will be blocked out. It's a checkout. 14 for Choco Mucho, 18 for Creamline. It's a good timing from Seb Domingo. Huling huli niya doon yung palo. Kaya lang, nung tumalun siya, dito siya nakaharap sa gilid. Kaya doon din na punta. Medyo sumobra yung touch sa bola when she blocked that ball. Gia, combination play. And it is Greenline fooling the defense of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans as Eliza Valdez scores her sixth point. Triple block. Actually, indeed, they didn't fool Choco Mucho dahil nandun uh, yung triple, triple block. block. Pero yung touch ni Eliza, perfect. And yung maganda kasi doon yung approach niya. Actually, same sila ni Todd Carlos, no? even Gemma Galanza na... Full approach and then last second, magta transition into a drop ball. Kaya umatras talaga yung defender sila. And ito naman, the same thing happened in that Celine Domingo block. Tama yung timing, pero masyadong nakaharap dito sa uh, right side of the court. 18 points in our last uh, outing in the quarterfinals. And one of the better servers, of course. As Chema Galanza points toward the spot and gives him a five-point lead in the first set of his first semi-final match. And Phil Kainek Cayetano, as always, will come in to serve. Look at that. Look at the reach of Chema Galanza. Ayun din kasi, difference from the other spikers. You know, yung iba, grabe mag-backswing para mag-exert ng power. Pero si Chema, mataas at mabilis yung wrist action. It's good serve by Phil. Oh, nalunod! Duque Agonsanya, who had 12 points her season high here for Choco Mucho. Anong nangyari doon? Sino nagkamali doon, Mela, in your eyes? Well, not the best connection between Agonsanya and Wong, no? Tama naman yung pasok ni Duque, pero medyo mataas sa inasang set nito ni Agonsanya. And sayang kasi yun yung kanina pang instruction ni Coach, eh, na talagang i-utilize yung kanilang... Uh, Middle attackers. Tumapak pa si Kat dun sa sequence na yun, Mela. Oo, no? Kasi yun ang tinawag ni Lumer. From the back row, tumapak sa linya. So that is another seven-point lead for Creamline. Tuki, pumawi. For the slide play. Uh, making up in connection. At uh, napakaganda din ng decision na yun ni... Dina, kasi Dreamline is starting to pull away here in this game and at least in the remaining points, di ba, habang hindi pa tapos, mag-post na sila ng threat in their middle game. One of the transferees, one of the many talented transferees, her former team, of course, already, unfortunately for their fans, out of the tournament. Shoot set. Bumalik. De Guzman goes for the 1-2. Cap saw it. Chang underneath the ball. She's looking for a check. Nope. Medyo na kailangan si Deschek doon. At uh, yun sinasabi natin, no, na kapag ka 
nagiging threat yung blockings ng cream line. Talagang na-intimidate yung kalaban. At nakita natin, very established yung uh, pwesto doon ni Gia at saka ni Panaga. As we see po kay Gaston seeing action here for Choco Mucho. Ang ganda ng pagkakabunod sa kanya last game. So let's see if she makes a difference here in this person. Lalo na doon sa fifth set, ano? Kung saan humabol po ang Choco Mucho against the PLDT High Speed Hitters and winning in their quarterfinal match. Run and gun again, Luna. Atienza was there. De Guzman will bump it to Carlos on the other end. That is out. Right thing to think about. Malakas lang ng konti. That's right. And you have to credit also Pongay Gaston for that point dahil single block yun. At bihirang makacheck kay Tots Carlos kapag ka single block. Pero she read that ball well. At uh, it led to that error na ng team line. Good coverage by Atienza. Carlos will tip it to the other side. That the blockings of Choco Mucho starting to work well here, pero Tots Carlos ayo magpaawat dito full approach and uh, that ball just came in the middle of the hands of the blockers. Nakahiwala yung blockers and that is not good enough for Tots Carlos. 24-17 set point in the hands of Maring Gemma. Dina, back set. They send it to the other side. Molde. Tolentino unable to get the point. High ball for Eliza. Cross court. Wong, Sumilep, Nunag puts it away and saves one of the seven set points. Defense of both teams, full display in this latter part of the first set. Uh, nakita natin medyo kapos yung block ni Panaga. Talaga pinalagpas ni Nunag yung bola doon sa kamay ni Panaga bago niya paluin yun. And it was strong enough for Creamline to call a timeout. Ang iniguro si Coach Irwin dito, Mela, and will call a timeout. Ang sito ka matake. Akin po. Siyempre tayo kanina. Iya. Shoot lang si Tots. Ikaw, pwede si Light Rest doon sa open. Ikaw ba? Touch dive, magka bumitin ng receive. Salita agad. Gamit ang power yun. Pero pag may receive, bilisan lang natin. Paano may nilang kataas? Over and taas. Ano ito, ano ito? Gapang sa akin. Ano yan? Tapos na. Tapos na. Hey, green line. Okay. Semi-final action number two. For today's Friday doubleheader, double dip at the Phil Oil Flying V Center. Boom Gonzalez with Mela Tunay, Alexis Tinsay at courtside, Gemma Galanza. And the cool smashers with set point. Pauline Gaston. The swipe doesn't work. Balik kay Tots. Tots! Then then says no. She got it. Lumer Parahilio. Paharilio disagrees. So the set will go to the cream line cool smashers of a Tots Carlos tip. 25-18 in set number one. We will be back here on One Sports.
Welcome back to our live and exclusive coverage of PVL 2022 Open Conference, a semi-final action between sister teams, Greenline Cool Smashers, and the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, and the Apes <laughs> getting a head start here. Maaga yung simula. They started strong, and they finished strong, Nella. And that's the hard part, no? When you let Dreamline take the lead, and uh, Choco Mucho was playing catch-up the whole set. Yeah. Kaya, yeah. nung dulo, it's an, an exciting set for both teams. Kaya lang, ang hirap na mag-ahabol kayo palagi. Especially when uh, Gia Morado de Guzman activated the main guns already. Nakita natin si Todd Carlos leading the pack with 8 points, Valdez with 6, Galazzo with 2. On the other hand, kulang pa ng healthy si Tat Tolentino for Choco Mucho. And we are yet to see yung talagang full game nila sa gitna. Bea De Leon, uh, scoreless in that first set. Tapos sa uh, Nuna, Gabonsanya, 2 points apiece. Pero they need more para masaparate nila yung blockers at at least maging out of system yung green line dun sa ginagalaw nila. Well, the number one spiking team in the league with an accuracy of 37% definitely showed, you know, why they are the number one attacking team. Seven more attacks. Less, uh, of course, in terms of the blocks, pero yun na nga. Alam natin na hindi yan ang strength nila. But serving, they got three free points. Tots Carlos, I can see Eliza Valdez. They all had three points via the serve. For sure, isa yun sa mga kailangan nilang tutukan in this game. Especially with Ben De Lazaro Revilla. Alam din natin, Isa Molde or even Beth Cheng when they're on the floor. Talagang maganda yung reception nila. So, Creamline, uh, one of their um, game game to date plan nila sa game ngayon ay magkarga talaga sa series. And it translates to their game in uh, that first set. Valdez with six points, Carlos with eight points to lead everyone, and Tolentino on the other side with five. Tatlo, para kay Isa Molde. You're watching us live on One Sports on whatever platform, or even if you're watching the replay, magandang araw, magandang gabi. Salamat sa inyong panonood. Boom Gonzalez, Mela Tunay, Chia de Guzman to Gemma Galancha for the first point of set number two. Very impressive of Gemma to use the hands. Of the tall cat, Tolentino. Talagang maganda dito. Alam ni Gemma paano pupuntos eh. Uh, regardless if napakalalaki ng kaharap niya na blocker, she really knows how to control the ball, how to manage to score. We have run out of superlatives uh, pagdating sa talino, skill, at control ni Gia de Guzman. And a point will be given though to Choco Mucho of an error from the Cool Smashers. So again, I said, they met each other August 4, 2020. Lamang dun, ah, ang uh, Choco Mucho in that uh, match. And then they were forced into a fifth set when Creamline came back in the fourth. In the fifth set, bumomba ng gusto itong Creamline, winning it 5, 15 to 6. Mm. And speaking of bomba, Panaga puts it away. Ito yung sinasabi natin kanina pa na Napaka-crucial ng middle game dito. Paulit-ulit ako buong but look at that attack by Jeanette Panaga. Iba rin kasi yung impact eh. Kung alam mo kailangan mo ito bantayan at gumagana ito today, mas magiging Effective. madali din para dun sa ibang spikers pa yes. kapag ka kumakagat sa gitna yung blockers ng kalaban. Kasi ngayon, manguhula na yung kalaban mo. In this case, it is Choco Mucho benefits from that service error. At para sa cream line, pang lima yan. Like we said, Gemma Galanza with another service error. So we are at two all. There's a certain calmness also yes. to Green Line yeah. right now. No, nakikita natin, they're right in front of us, Mela. And uh, sabi ko nga yung basics netong Green Line. Kasi kung nakikita mo sila kumalaw, um, very, very calm. At pinapabagal nila yung galaw, di ba? Para kahit napakabigat ng serve ng kalaban or ng palo nila. Pagtangat nila, makikita mo everyone's taking their time para i-set up yung bola. So again, it goes back to basics. Although in that last sequence, medyo nagkaroon ng miscommunication with sa combination play that they were attempting to do. This is the first time that Choco Mucho is in the lead. At 3-2 here in set number two. They're hoping to play better. But Eliza Valdez has other plans. Opposite setting there for Gia de Guzman. Nakita natin from Tots Carlos. Binato niya naman sa kabila kay Eliza, although Eliza was late for that approach, but keen eye from the Phenom, nakita niya walang tao doon sa zone 1 ng Choco Mucho. Makikita mo talaga boom yung attempt ni Gia na pabilisin yung pace. 
di ba? Kahit yung spikers niya na late na siya sobrang... Uh, Pasimbat oh, oh. niyo yung mga karamihan ng set niya ngayon. Ano? Hindi lumolobo masyado. Just, unless, of course, she has to underhand it from the other side. And apart from the blockers of Chocomucho being late, napapagod din sila kasi dulo-dulo yung hinahabol nila. Eh. So it's a good point also na matutunan ng mga aspiring setters natin na nanonood. That's out. Not helping your cause to give away some points. Lisa Borde sends it. And her old teammate will do the serving here. For all. Cheng. Cheng finds a spot there. And another lead for Choco Mucho. They got to get Des Cheng going here also. Des Cheng going uh, for that through the block. But uh, si Gemma, medyo na touch na kaya lang no one was there to recover the ball. And it's good to see Des Cheng on the scoreboard for the flying type. Look here, Gonzaga now. Five serving four. Set number two. Match number two for today. Pagkakataon na naman. Push doesn't work. Valdez umatras. Cheng chases. This is good. Chance ball. Chia. Up to Eliza. Single blocker. Doesn't work. The reflexes there by uh, Duque Abonsanya. And it's very rare, no? Makita natin na uh, yung mga middle blockers natin pag dumidepente sa likod ng... Kasi nalakas yung mga pinapala nila Eliza Valdez. We take a look at this replay. Makikita natin na uh, si Eliza talaga acknowledged na walang libero on the floor. Kahit dun siya nakaharap sa down the line, nilihis niya papunta kay Ogonsanya. All of this decision-making in split seconds, no? yun yung matindi dito sa mga, sa inyo, sa inyo mga volleyball player. You have to make these decisions while you're running, you're chasing, you're jumping. Kaya mabilis na makita who's really focused into the game dahil dun sa mga in-game decisions na yan. In the meantime, it's a great sign for Chocomucho as they continue to retain the lead here, 6-5. to five. Galanza, out. Medyo nakahiga si Gemma din sa atake na yun. Not enough spin para bumagsak yung bola. It's the biggest lead now for Chocomucho at 2. Kanina, it was also clean line service na nagpahirap sa Chocomucho. And now, Chocomucho naman loading up their serves para hindi maka-atake itong cream line and on point D the wall scoring off an ace to lead the team 8 to 5 as we go to the second technical time Alive, champions for life. Exciting na ang mga laban sa pagpabalik ng UAP. Panoorin ang UAP Season 84 Men's Basketball doing Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Live sa One Sports and sa UAP Varsity, Varsity Channel. Available on Signal TV Channel 263 HD and on Signal Play. Let's get a report from Alexis Tinsay on PTL. Capitano of the Flying Titans, Bea de Leon, said that this isn't something new at the Rubisco face-off. It's something they've already done in Ilocos last conference. But what's different is their set of players, their dynamic, and hunger to win this rematch. In order to better their performance and secure a spot in the finals, Bea said that the Flying Titans are working on their individual lapses in order to convert it into a point or two. It might seem little, but this will do a lot for their advantage as Creamline is adjusting their air as well in order to keep the momentum. Let me ask the panel, which is your team is showing more grit this first half of the set? Is it the classic pink or the younger purple? 
Well, ngayon, Alexis, nangunguna ang, uh, ang army ng uh, the ones who are wearing wearing purple. They're getting noisier here in this match because they're ahead by two, actually one. At Lunar Pajarillo will make it two. Eliza Valdez will protest this. And this is why this matchup is one of the most anticipated uh, matchups yeah. in the whole PBL conference. Other than probably Creamline and a possible F2 matchup, which hasn't happened and will not happen in this conference, maybe in the next conference when the tournament format is different. Other than that, it's the sister teams, obviously. For sure. Individually and as a team. As Gemma Galanza, Sumobra. And this is now a four-point lead. Ganda ng one hand set na yun ni Gia Morado. Kaya lang, uh, I could say out of position si Gemma para dun sa set na yun. And we haven't seen her get um, the usual successful attempts and attacks in this set so far. So, so what is Choco Mucho doing differently here in the second set, Mela? Bakit may abante sila ng apat? Well, definitely they are receiving better as we... Take a look at this uh, Jeanette Panaga hit. And this is what happens, no? Kahit kaninong kumpunan, kung sino yung nakaka-receive na tama. Kasi both of these teams have the weapons. And it's very good na the middles are getting really involved for Cream 9. Even in Sokomucho, you were asking me kung ano yes. yung nagiging difference so far in this set. Mas maganda talaga yung reception nila. And we've seen a couple of points already from Cherry Nuna Genogunsanya. Gia will open up to Gemma. Denden. Molde. Gemma was there to dig. And, and a rare catch and throw. Error. By the way, Mela Pang Pitong error na yun ng Creamline. Dito sa ating second set. Huh? So definitely, Creamline is moving tight in this set. And yung kanina binabanggit natin na aura nila na very calm, it's different now. Okay, Although okay. they're trying to stay calm, but alam mo yung, yung feels yeah. yung aura. Humi pa ng konti. Gemma, humingi. Again, yung defense ng Choco Mucho. Kanina reception, ngayon naman yung depensa nila. Touch! Dina was there. A chance ball to Creamline. They're down by four. They open up the Tots. And that ball is gone. And look at the masterpiece of Gia Morado de Guzman. Si Panaga napakasipa kung baso, kung bagat si Ogunsanya. At binilis na talaga ni Gia yung bato dun sa open. And of course, there are spikers bouncing off that spike. And they're gonna have more options ng angles to go to kapag ganun yung nagiging opening para dun sa spikers nito ni Gia. Dina will choose Monte. Ooh. And her former teammate closing the door with authority. Thoughts Carlos roofing Isa Monte. Choco Mucho calls another timeout here in the second set. Okay. 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 Wala problema, Dina. Wala po. Hindi mali yung ginawa. Hindi mali yan, ha? Tinuturuan lang tayo, dagdag ulit tayo. Okay, listen up. Listen up. Walang problema yun. Pinalo ng power. Kailangan natin kumover. Okay. Now, Duki. Duki, kailangan mong hingin. Nawawala na yung gitna natin. Dalawa na kagad nandito. Naintindihan? Di na again. Dito, balik. Kesa, kesa dito, ha? Naintindihan? Okay. Biggest lead of the match, four. Choco Mucho was four. That was a 10 to six. So right now, it is a 3 1 run or an 11 to nine count. Ano na rin po kay Coach O? Well, kanina pa natin binabanggit. Middle game, activating the middles. At yan ang talagang hinihingi nito ni Coach Oliver para si Choco Mucho. Sabi niya kay Duki, hingi ng bola. At uh, on point, ito sumunod agad sa instructions. But Gemma Galanza was there to defend. At uh, maliban doon sa pagsunod nila sa instruction and activating the middles, talagang highly involved na rin itong uh, blockers ng Choco Mucho as they got that block against the Phenom. A 24 to 13 advantage in terms of attacking. We expected that for Creamline. 
Got Tolentino so far with five points. The lead is back to three. Good time out by Cocho. Gia. Banaga. Oh, Den Den with the cat. Gia will try again. From the back row. Boom, Alexa cream line. Open. Baldo. Back to her old libero. Gia with a dig. Kyla. Thoughts. Balde was there. Oh, easy pickings here. Kyla to Eliza. Eliza swipes it. And Dina Wong on the 1 2. The blockers of Green Line forgetting that Dina Wong is in the front line. And it's very legal for her to do that top shot. So you take a look at that last rally. Napakalaki na naging contribution ni Des Cheng when it comes to the defense of the Flying Titans. Matatawag ulit ang timeout dito ang Green Line to attempt to cut off the momentum of Choco Mitchell. Mapapat lang yan ha, isang atake muna. Let's go, receive lang ulit. Wala tayo natin eh, receive lang. Ano tayo? One receive. Hey, Green Line! Five thousand one hundred twenty people here at the Phil Oil Flying V Center. Half of them, I figure, are all chanting Dina during that timeout. <laughs> Probably more than half. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more than half. As Dina Wong and the rest of the gang restore a four-point lead. Thirteen to nine. Captain and Dina will get this rally going. Gia pa atras. Look how hard that set is, Mela. Wow. At ang maganda doon, dalawa yung blockers niya, pero the angle that Don Carlos took, talagang sobrang tipis, almost a frontline hit for her. Kala ko madada pa si Gia doon, pa atras na. And then ay pasa nga, sabi mo nga, kay Tots, and Tots with a frontline kill, cutting the lead down to three. Panaga has been special today so far. From the back, Gia was there. Balike thoughts, miss set. So they'll try again. Choco mucho will. Napantayan ni Eliza. Cat from the back. That one will bounce out for Sed Domingo. Again, good timing there by Sed Domingo. But there was just too much power from that Cat Tolentino hit. No pas yung bola. 14-10. The approach of Kat Tolentino is such a joy to watch because whether she's in the front line or in the back line, it's the same approach for her, same power. Received by Tot, she gets it back. Bumawi. Again, the angle ni Tot Carlos. Earlier on, we were talking about how good she is when controlling the ball. At uh, partida, siya pa yung nag-receive niyan. So yung transition talaga from defense to offense. Yeah, nga, I was Looking about to right, say. Looking right, hitting yeah. left, di ba? Usually, they target those outside hitters, those swing spikers, to negate them from the play. Pero... It didn't seem to be a problem no, for Tots uh, Carlos. The real good ones. <laughs> bounce back right away, get back on their feet right away. As Kyle Negrito comes in to serve. Lisa Mantapan is also in. Para sa cream line. And another... Second ball put away from Dina Wong. Dina Wong really maximizing that she's in the front line. And such strong peripherals for this young center here. Sabi nga natin, Mela, the matchup. Itot sa tsaka ni Kat, maganda. Pero itong Gia, Dina, matchup, iba rin yung dimension ito, no? And that, si Dina pumabawi din sa scoring, eh. Kasi... Um, when it comes to utilizing yung kanilang mga attackers, makikita natin mas nalilito talaga kapag ka si Gia. Pero when it comes to scoring, di na talaga kilala dyan sa mga dunk balls na yan. Pumalik kay Eliza. Negrito will go to set. One more time to Baldo. And she puts it away. Good job there by Kyle Negrito. Did it seem like Gia got out of the court. Talagang yung pace ng game. Kung gaano kabilis. It's 
it's replicated here by Negrito. Excellent point, partner. And again, it goes back to that system ng team nila. Yes, you're right. 12 serving 15. That goes in! Drops in! Another ace here for Eliza Valdez as Greenline cuts the lead to just two. Perfect floater oh, there. Nakita na sa slow mo oh. kung gaano umaangat baba yung bola. No? There's another one. This time Cheng takes it. Tolentino, access denied. Gemma shaking her head as the lead is down to one. Look at the timing of the blockers here. Talagang marcado na ito si Kat Tolentino. Gemma Galanza with a bit of a no-no action there. And the reaction is priceless. Hey, hey. <laughs> 15-14, Negrito, tumuro. Pantapat na kailalim. Breaking their own momentum here. Second technical timeout, Joko Mucho maintaining the lead, 16-14. Vince Tolentino is in the house here at the arena in San Juan. Take a libre finale para sa isang dekada in a world-class martial arts action. Nagpapaga ang bakbakan dito lang sa one. The unstoppable atomweight queen, Angela Lee, the depensa ng corona mula sa two-sport, one-world champion, Stamp Fairtex. At sa una pagkakataon isang hybrid super showdown, ang pagsasaluhan in a Demetrius Johnson and Rotta. Raratsada rin ang tapang ni, uh, or tapatang Adriano Moraes at Yuka Wakamatsu sa flyweight division. 1X, 1 Sports Premier, Piernes, April 1, mamayang gabi, 8.30 p.m. The lead is now at 3. Catolentino roofing the talented Gemma Galanza. And uh, in that last sequence, medyo inangad na the usual sets na itong cream line, no? At kapag ganun kasi, we know also the intention kung bakit naging pinakabili sila Gia, especially when you're up against a tall team like Choco Mucho with Catolentino and Tunag there as blockers. At even Jay Magalanza, who kanina pa natin pinag-uusapan, when it comes sa pag-angle ng mga palo, napaka-talented, pero napaka-dali din for the blockers na payungan kapag inaangat yung sets. Balik sa lap sa apat ang kalamangan at 18-14, Dina Wong. His first set was won by Creamline. Dina already with 17 excellent sets. Gemma Pinapabawi. Hey, Coach O. Hey, Coach O. With a little bit of court theatrics. Coach Oliver getting into the game, literally. Now we have a match. <laughs> And Galanza will move out. We've seen Rosemary a couple Vargas. of errors already from Galanza. Good call from Coach, uh, Coach Sherwin. Para din nak nakita ni Gemma, di ba, in a different perspective yung laro. And sometimes it's very crucial din uh, sa isang player na ganun para mas makabalik, mas makabalik sila. And we know naman ito si Rose Vargas, one of UAAP's best scorers also. Oh, what a what a change on the way down. Thoughts Carlos adjusts it mid-air, makes it look easy. Cuts the lead down to four. Choco Mucho still in the lead, 19-15, though. But Thoughts Carlos acknowledging yung pagbaba na ng blockers. Again, it's that last second. 
changes na ginagawa ng mga athletes natin that are really impressing all the volleyball fans here. Domingo, that is wide. Again, this is not the same pre-flight in the first set. Body language pa lang medyo naiba na. They seemed a bit out of focus as compared to how they started the game. Choco Mucha has not won against Creamline in the three matches. This is the fourth meeting, first in a playoff setting. They want to get the big one. And an ace! And a six-point lead. Best Cheng making an impact in this game against Creamline. Kanina sa defensa, really have to highlight how well she did there. And now the man, her signature aces. In full display here in the second set. Let's go! 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 Tables have turned. In first game, natin karina, puro dikitan. You know, lumalabang lang yung dalawa, tatlo, yun na yung pinakamalaki. Kapalitan talaga Kapalitan. ng puntos. Oo, eto naman. First set, Rumachada, itong dream line. Second set, Choco Mucho naman. And Lumer Pajarillo will talk to Dino Wong. Let's see what this is all about. Won't uh, get to listen to that, but we're back in action here. 21 serving, 15. Deschen. So what a serve. What a big chance here for white and purple. Easy take for Eliza. Gia will open up again to Vargas. Now, we all know, if you follow your volleyball, that Rosemary Vargas, when she was in FEU, and even as she evolved as a you know, club player, heavy-handed. Ang bigat ng kamay niya. At saka may kakaibang approach siya. Iniibig niya, iniibig niya yung kamay niya. So ang hirap na for a blocker na timing man. Yung kamay na to ni Rose Vargas. At yung power talaga, boom. Tinig na tinig mo eh. It's two straight points for Choco Mucho here. As the antenna was hit from the molded tip. Getting that ball across. Let's see, Choco Mucho on the offense here, trying to break the mini run. Valentino. Valdez. Gia will go back to Vargas. Vargas. Back to Cat. Over the blockers. Gia, balik kay Tot sa kabila naman. Cheng was there. Easy over. Gia to the running. Gia will go to the middle. Great defense by Choco. And they get a free ball. Chance for them. Tolentino puts it away. The defense of Cherry Luna got the net. Paying off for Choco Mucho here. Puro single block in the batayan niya kanina. And of course, the chance ball. Dina goes to their main gun. Cat Tolentino using the hands of the blocker. And now we see Galanza back in the game for green line. Luna, again, one of the recruits now here. Helped shore up that middle of Choco Mucho. They're up five. Miss received. Tinarget kagat si Galanza. Pagpasok. To the delight of the Choco Mucho crowd. Sorry, Mela. This is also a mental game, no? Para dito sa dalawang kumpunan. Dahil kanina medyo nawawala si Gemma. And ngayon pagpasok siya agad yung tatargetin. And that's gonna have an effect on most players kapag kakakabalik mo lang tapos nag-error ka. So let's see if Gemma comes back in late the second set. Free ball. Tolentino scores again. We've heard 
Ang Tolentino's name in every game, even in this game alone, talaga siya nang siya yung uh, tatakbo nitong Choco Mucho whenever they need a score, whenever they need to close a rally. Yeah, why not? The best scorer in the league? At parang hindi siya napapagod. <laughs> Alam mo yung every game talaga, oh. she, she averages so much points. Yung but... volume eh. Volume ng bola sa kanya talaga eh. No signs of exhaustion from Catoletino and the whole Choco Mucho team as they get the second set against their Ates from the Green Line Tools Smashers as the fans go wild here at the San Juan Arena. Semi-final matchup is tied. This is what we expected. This is what we all like. Green Line and Choco Mucho 1-1 in semi-final match number one. All live on One Sports. Back inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center, 5,000, more than 5,100 strong, enjoying this semi-final action. Choco Mucho now getting uh, to do what uh, Petrogas wasn't able to do earlier and at least extend us to, at the very least, four sets as they win set number two and they win it dominantly, uh, Mela. So far, the nagiging pattern dito sa game natin kung sino yung nakakaabante na um, umpisa ng set, sila na talaga yung ano, yung uh, nag-finish nung set at uh, napakaganda nung naging response nung mga players ng Choco Mucho sa mga instructions ni Coach Oliver as he asked na i-activate nila yung medal nila and that's what we saw of course getting numbers from Cherry Luna ni Ibina Duque Gonzania and napakalaking factor din nung defense ito ni Deschek, Isa Molde, then the Lazaro Revilla in that second set. Kaya mas marami silang uh, gawang counter-attacks contra cream line. At medyo nawawala yung sinabi natin basics itong cream line dahil Choco Mucho scored a couple of aces from them and their attacks, diba? Na usually, easy up for cream line. Ngayon, madaling napapatay ng Choco Mucho. Look at the numbers. The 11 errors yung una. It's a first part of the match yung 7 kagad. 7-1 eh. kagad itong uh, cream line. So, during the set break, balik sila sa kanlaupuan. They meditate, forget, and wash out. While ito naman uh, Choco Mucho holds a practice the same. Uh, uh, they have they have the same practices also. There are some similarities a lot uh, with uh, these teams. As some of these girls have been teammates with each other, have been coached by similar coaches. As we get into set number three of the semifinal matchup, Dina Wong will get us going. She, all, she has three points already for herself. Goes to Gemma Galanza as Tots Carlos scores first 14 points. Para kay Kaloy. It's a better pass there by Gemma Galanza. And yun yung naging start point. Starting point. Kaya maganda na naman yung naging set nito ni Gia. Leaving Tots Carlos with just one blocker. Galanza with four points in this match so far. Very strategic of Choco Mucho also to target Gemma because comparing it with the other spikers of Cream Line, she's kind of lost when it comes to reception in that second yeah. set. It's a good dig there by Molde. Free ball. Alaysa is holding it, but she's holding it to Panaga. But Wong was there. Then, then. 
Secondary set there once again. Cheng will try again over the block. Dino Wong Atienza. very active in defense. Alam naman natin, dating libero yan. Kaya, you know, in the stat sheet, it's really her. And uh, Dede Lazaro Revilla manning the floor defense of Choco Mucho. And ayun, nagbubunga yung kanilang sipag sa defensa as they got that point against Green Line. Choco Mucho, the second best digging team in the league. And when I say second best, of the remaining teams, the four teams in the semifinals, Petrogas, number one, Chocomucho, number two, digging team. Miss set. A chance here for Cap. Gia gets it. Atienza to Tots. And that is out. So what's happening here for Dreamline? Nagpapatuloy yung kanilang shaky play. And uh, so far for Creamline, no, yung tatlong attackers nila, main attackers nila, Alisa, Gemma, and Tots Carlos, parang medyo nawawala sa usual na galaw nila. And it could also be a strategy from uh, Choco Mucho to take these main gunners out of the game by targeting them. Again, Gemma Galanza being the target in that last oh. Descheng serve. Oh, what a reaction by Atienza. Ooh, what a transition play! And Cat Tolentino! Look at that follow through from Cat Tolentino. Talagang ibinawan yung bola. Yung defense ng Choco, talagang wala po lumalapag na bola ngayon. Ano na last, last set at saka this one. Very, very active and very intentional lahat ng ginagawa nila. From serve hanggang sa pag set up ng bola. Huh? We hear that word a lot with Coach O. And Tots finally gets one. Uh, yun yung sinabi natin kanina. Kay San Domingo, no, tama yung timing, pero nakaharap dun sa parang outside part ng court. At the same thing happening here with uh, Cherry Munag. Panaga, who started off really strong here in our match in the first set, has been quiet. <laughs> Reception of uh, Dende Lazaro Revilla. Talagang hindi na gumagalaw itong si Dina Wong. Classic naman talaga. No? And then they just... I mean, as a receiver, 47% of balls. Kanyang uh, efficiency rate. Although that one, she was able to keep in play. Hindi na lang nahabol. But as you mentioned... Then, then is always reliable. Now they have somebody who's uh, shooting something there upstairs, pero nakaka distracting ilaw. <laughs> Ramin yun na lang yung ring light ni Mela. Nandito sa ilalim ng lamesa namin. <laughs> Point will go to three line. So backliner si Dina Wong dito, and it seemed like she was gonna attempt to get that ball over habang tinalo niya. So that's an illegal attack for a setter. At inunahan din ni Tots Carlos ng palo dun sa jaws na yon between her and Dina Wong. 15 points for Carlos. Valdez with 10. Tolentino also with 10. She enters double-digit territory now. Dudak! With a cannon! Grabe lang talaga yung reception dito ni Revilla and mas nagagamit talaga yung weapon si Tong Choco Mucho and it's good to see na ito si Cherry Nuna nakakapalo ng malaka she's very comfortable with the set that she's getting and all credits to the reception of their libero then the Lazaro Revilla Alam mo isa pang okay at maganda dito kay Den Den she goes about her business quietly, you know, <laughs> parang hindi mo napapansin na in and out, in and out. Wala masyadong theatrics, hindi siya, she just, she's so business-like on the court and yet so efficient. And she's been doing it for so long. Purely embodies yung pagiging professional player, no? Talagang, when she's in the court, she just gets the job done. A long-time teammate, of course, of uh, Valdez too, you know? the championships. A lot of playoff games together as Carlos gets a 16 point out of a service ace. Bumag na naman ang bola from that top spin. Again, the ball control in Tots Carlos really just knows where to place the ball. Miscalculated here by Isa Molde. It seemed like it was going out, pero babagsak sa linya. 
At yun yung mahirap i-receive kasi pag nasa end line yeah, na yung, yeah, yung bola. Sabi nga ng mga coach, diba? When in doubt, just get it. Chance here, 6-4 is our score. Wong able to pancake that one. Back to Tolentino. Cross court is good! We talked about the angles of Todd Carlos, pero hindi pa pahuli. Got Tolentino with that sharp cross court attack, and you have to go back to that pancake yeah. save yeah. by Dina Wong. And again, paulit ulit. All their defense pay off. Flick of the wrist. Perfect to get that ball down. She is serving now five to six. Atienza. And a perfect response by De Guzman. And Domingo. Celine Domingo, look at that approach. Talagang yung familiarity will play at nagpas ulo yung palo niya doon. Did so well in training. Well enough to pretty much displace Risa Sato, who was a starter also para sa Dreamline before. Multiple you know? RD, dito no. sa PVL. Actually, in the past conferences, it's been uh, her and Panaga. Yeah. You know, getting both of them in one team, talagang, it will build a healthy competition. Cap. That is out. Lumer gives the point. To the Cream Light Cool Smashers. 8 5 is our score. This is semi final action live on One Sports. Much exciting NBA games and get a chance to win awesome prizes from Signal. Just take a selfie with your TV while watching NBA games on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, or TV5. For more info and to register to the promo, visit www.signal.tv. 16 points for Kaloy so far in this match. More on her from Alexis Tinsai. Tots Carlos, who is an all-time double-figure contributor, told me that for the semifinals, dito talagang masasabing bilog ang bola. Dahil established na ang teams, it would really not depend on the skills anymore. It's how they start their first ball, who gets to convert faster, and who gets to fix their basic errors with responsibility. In order to dominate this set, Tots is looking forward to have a more aggressive counter-attack and to convert their coverage into creative attacks. With Coach Sherwin's guidance, lalagyan lang nila ng diskarte itong third set. Let's return to the intense volleyball action as they have this long rally. Yan na nga, Alexis Dumi diskarte ng gusto dito. Uh, Creamline, what a story for this game. It's either one or the other right now. First set, dominant win by Creamline. Second set, dominant win by Choco ngayon. Pinakamalaking abante ng Creamline at 5, 10 to 5. Ang hirap din talaga mag-play ng catch-up dito sa mga pupunan na to. Kasi if you get your confidence up, talagang napaka-deadly. They play to their strengths whenever they feel confident. Tapos nag-iiba yung galawan, ano, kahit sa depensa, ano, Mela? Oo. Oh, oh. Jem Ferrer is in the ballgame for the first time for Coach O. De Guzman. Ooh! Look at that spike from Gemma Galanza wow. with authority. Wow. Nakita natin na wala siya kanina, but if yeah. this is how a player bounces back, talagang Did, impressive for Coach Sherwin. Feeling ko, Mela, frustration yan eh. Yung may halo ng frustration, okay, okay. Gigi. Ano nangyari sa atin? Pag nakapuntas yung kalaban, unti-unti tayo yung muyo ko eh. No! Kapag nakapuntas sa kalaban, it's a chance to bow eh. It's a chance to test your character. Now, alam mo yung gagawin eh. Lahat ng pinalo nilang madiin, black. So, anong gagawin nila? Anong gagawin? Check out! Check out! Drop ball! 
Now, kailangan lang tayo mag-receive ng maayos. Activate ulit. Okay, girls, high risk, high reward. Sa gayon sa receive at depensa. Go! Earlier, I mentioned, di ba, you were in awe kung paano pumalo si Gemma. Sabi yes. ko, hindi siya, is, hindi siya yung pinakamalakas na spiker, hindi siya yung pinakamatangkad. Pero yung sa lakas, gusto ko nalang bawiin oh, after tama, that tama. spike. So, Talagang kapag pag gusto niyang gawin, nagagawa niya talaga. And one of the purposes of a timeout, obviously, to ice the server and then the reminders. That's a bonus. They get a point as Creamline service error is now piling up at seven. Again, yung timeout ni Coach O. Very specific, no? Activate ulit yung gitna. At hinimay-himay niya na yung mga sitwasyon na nangyayari dito sa Creamline. Nakapag nabablock sila. Anong ginagawa nila? Nagka-cut shot off the block. Right. And now, again, the Choco Mujum Line Titans reacting well dahil mas nabasa na naman nila yung atake na yun ni Gemma Galanza. Two straight points. Para sa Choco Mucho, Isa will get us going for this rally. Atienza was there. Touch from behind. Denden was there. Jam underhands it. Birai is rejected. Cheng puts it away. Gia Morato de Guzman. Bumitaw dun sa block. Ando na siya eh. Let's take a look at this replay. Nakuha ni Denden yung bola dun. Nakablock itong cream line. Pero in that last attack, nakita mo ang binaba. Kasi akala niya ipapacheck sa kanya ni Des Cheng. We know isa yan sa mga moves talaga nito ni Cheng. But uh, wrong, wrong judgment there from Gia Morales. Sige, Tapos sa gitna ka. Okay. Para si Tots nagpredict na kasi ngayon. Energy, energy, girls. Hey, cream line. Three zero run. Kanina nasa eleven to five tayo. Did I see? I think I saw. Oh, Iris Tolinada nasa likod pala ng bench ng cream line. I bumped into her earlier. She mentioned she was supporting CMJ Phillips, MJ, oh. who played earlier for Petro Gas. Said she, in her life, has never lost three straight, and F2 has not mm -hmm. lost three straight also as a team in any, in any league. But now they're out of the PVL, and we can't wait to see what tweaks they're going to make. They still have matches, though. Uh, yeah, I they think do. on Tuesday against BLDT, still have classification matches. Correct. They're Let out for uh, yeah. semi-final con mm -hmm. con contention, rather. Announce natin yung mga schedule ng ating classification matches maya maya lamang. In the meantime, good timeout by Sherwin. Celine Domingo feeling it in that last attack. That was a good reception there by Todd Carlos and uh, Celine Domingo just ready for that set. Yeah, beautiful one on one against Agunsanya uh, and obviously Lini Hisnya Pakanan. Then the, with that again, the perfect receive, but a perfect wall provided by Creamline to restore some order for them, 13 to 8. Ito kasi yung mahirap ilusot kay Panaga kapag ka mababa yung daan ng palo mo. Regardless if sobrang lakas mo yan papaluin, lagi talaga nakapayong itong block ni Panaga. And isa yun sa mga napapansin talaga natin when we compare her to the other middle blockers. 3-0 run by Choco Mucho. 2-0. Make that 3-0. Pinalik. So, nabawi. Balik sa anim ang abante dito. Again, ito yung mahirap mag-backline yung setter, no? Kasi pag medyo umover na yung bola, they're gonna try to attempt to do a one-hand set. But it seems like for the referees, i-a-attacka nila pa kabila. Kaya laging illegal attack yung tinatawag against those setters. And in this case, it is Jem Ferrer. One of another, another recruit, obviously, of Choco Mucho. Nice dig! Oh! Nobody got the second ball after the dig from San Domingo. Again, good intention there by Duki. Alam niya, wala yung libero sa loob. And uh, napakaganda na ng reflex doon ni San Domingo. Kaya lang nobody there to recover that save. Alam niyo yung mukha na yun? Yung mukha niyo parang sayang yun. Sayang yun. Sayang yun. 
Makapagdidilat na may laman eh. Duki now gets us going. Lima ang inahabol ng Choco Mucho dito sa ating third set. Gia sumilip sa depensa. Kalansa, nice reaction there by Luna. Tots was there. Gia will go back row. Eliza Valdez doing Eliza Valdez things. And we haven't heard much from her in this uh, third set. But again, pag kailangan ng puntos kay Ate Eliza, she will give that score to the Team Line Go Smashers. And again, yung angle na nakakamiss kasi dati kahit nasa si Eliza, hahanapin talaga siya ni Gia. But now she gets less sets from, from Gia, but it doesn't affect her efficiency. Oop, sumobra. Miss receive. At bumuka na. Sa pito. 69. The Cream Line Cool Smashers ahead here in set number three. PBL 2022 Open Conference is available in One Sports and in high definition on One Sports Plus. Signal TV Channel 261. Cap Tolentino on your screens. We haven't heard enough uh, from her here in set number three, but we will hear from Alexis Tinsai right now. Ranking number one for best scorer as of the pregame with 91 points. Catolentino said that the team's always been aggressive with attacks, but it's this point in the competition where they have to focus on rest and recovery in order to do strongly every game. What's exciting for Kat this season is that she's welcomed several players coming from different systems. And as we can see, the Flying Titans, they are working differently than the Ateneo-centric system we are used to seeing. Let's see how they bounce back with Kocho's guidance back to set three. And now she's back in the lineup. Caitlin Beray and Jem Perer will move out. Dina Wong is back in as they make a chase here. The biggest lead of the match was seven. Alam mo, boom, itong play na to na kanina pa pinipilit gawin nila Gia. Kahit sino yung open hitter na nasa harap, hindi pa ba tempohan. So I guess this is something that they're gonna address in training kasi pangatlong miscommunication na yun in that particular play. Kala ko pa naman nung bumuela ka ng, alam mo po, kala ko parang <laughs> meron ka, parang ang may sasabihin sa akin na, Woo! Galadza, may sinasabi dito in this attack. You know Nakapatong what, sa bola. The servers can target her all, all they want, pero kapag transition si Gemma, all out, all power, all wrist action, at as ng contact. Oh yeah, beautiful. It doesn't matter who her blocker is, talaga kaya kaya lumusot. One hand set, chance here for Creamline. Gia will pick Eliza. Back set, Valentino. Atienza sends it to the other side. Kat will try again. Atienza with a tomahawk. Nunag. Kyla. Molte. Back to Wong. Mababa ng konti. Gia. Reverse set. Revilla was there. Long rally. And it is Creamline winning. In transition. Miscommunication there. Nagating ina na tong si Revilla at saka si Cheng. Kung sino yung magko-cover dun sa bola na yun. And sometimes that happens kapag ka yung tawid ng bola, kaliwa kanan sa court. Nagugulo yung defense pattern eh. But on the side of green line, we have to credit itong si Kyla at Yenza in that point. Yeah, you're right. Majority of the balls talagang siya yung nakapag-recover. And 
Hindi natin siya masyado napabanggit, but she's been yeah. playing big in this game. Very good, very good point. Valentino from the open. De Guzman, sasagot si Eliza. What a counter attack by the Greenlight Cool Smashers, bringing us, giving us the biggest lead of the set at eight right now, 19 to 11. sa inyo eh. When yung transition, pag dumulo yung bola, anong gagawin nila? Anong first gagawin nila pag nag-transition? Kanina pa pa sinasabi yun, pag transition, anong gagawin? Itatapon sa inyo kasi hindi kayo ready. Tayo naman, pinipilit natin i-bound sa gitna, pwede rin natin gawin. Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, kapag yung transition, why are you moving here? Hindi, yeah, para makita mo yan. Okay, di na, itas me quick mo. Hindi mo ka na kailangan magmadali. Okay. Go, tsaga, tsaga. So I'll ask you the same question that I asked you in set number two. What is Creamline naman doing right in this set so far, in general, compared to what Choco Mucho did in set number two? Well, kanina nabanggit natin, medyo nawawala yung basics nila, no? Pero now, very active yung kanilang floor defense. The same thing that we saw in that first set. And alam naman natin na kayang-kaya nilang mag-transition, di ba, from... from defense to offense dahil tingnan naman natin yung lineup nila. Kagaya niyan, uh, naka-defense na naman. Kaya yung yung porsyento eh, yung porsyento ng attackers sila, we know na mataas talaga. What a reaction by Lazaro. Lazaro Revilla that is. This time it is Choco Mucho that wins the transition play on a Capitalino. Kill. And what we've been noticing here, kung sino man yung team na nakaka-defensa talaga, what a reaction talaga, by them. Then. They really make sure na nababawi nila eh, yung effort nila sa defensa and they go all out when it comes to attacks. It's been a pattern for both teams in this game. Ganda ng mga matchup natin. Atienza versus Lazaro Revilla. Panaga. Versus Lunad. Again, the defense there for Choco Mucho by Dina Wong. Sasagot naman si Tot sa kabila. Carlos versus Tolentino so far has been also super entertaining. But in this set, it is Caloy who's getting the edge 20 to 12. Ang hirap talaga defensa na yung palo na yun ni Caloy kasi tama naman yung uh, pattern nitong uh, Choco Mucho defenders, diba? Dina was on the sideline. Yung sweeper, sumunod kong nasa yung direction nung, nung attacker, which was Carlos. Pero above the blockers, ito si Carlos in that last attack. Phil Kenglet Cayetano, as usual, coming in to serve. Green line with 26 aces so far in this match. Or in this tournament, rather, in the conference. Chance ball para sa green line. Domingo is checked. Carlos Cheng. A chance here for Chocomucho, who are down by eight. Eliza. That is why. Oh, and Valdez goes down. Set na yun. We hope this is nothing serious. Uh, nakakalakad si Lai. Medyo na-stress lang siguro dun sa pag-land pag niya from that attack. Dreamline fans took a deep breath. Pati na rin tayo, <laughs> siyempre. Dahil ayaw natin, ako, silence, ayaw natin ako. Ayaw natin nakikita yung mga ganyan. Thoughts will go to the corner. The lead is down to seven. That is way long. Tumababa yung setup na yun for a good Sanya. And it's also becoming a battle of defense for both setters here. As we saw Gia de Guzman, Morado de Guzman, kanina sunod-sunod yung naging depensa niya the same way as Dina has been doing a good job in defense for Choco Mucho. 17 for Carlos. Sa kapila naman, 12 points para kay Cap Tolentino. That's out. There, 
12 points on 10 attacks and a couple of blocks. Cap Tolentino. Pantesa gitna. I guess she's okay. Earlier she went down, but in this last play, talagang all out pa rin yung approach. That's Eliza's way of telling us she's fine. As we see Bea de Leon seeing action back here for Choco Mucho. Oh, no? Una. And they need leadership now eh. Ayan sa mga isa sa kayang ibigay ni Bea de Leon the floor. A dig by Tots. Tots was able to get it. And it is a Choco Mucho point. They're still in this. 15 will be serving 22. Biggest lead was 8. Right now. Sipag ng, uh, sipag ng streamline sa coverage. Makikita mo talaga kahit ang bilis ng balik ng bola from the block. They are there to recover. Although in that last play, nakauna sa taas itong si Bea at si Dina. Taking advantage of that regalo. Si Alaysa ang uh, linapas muna dito. Ng libero. No, which we don't see Creamline do a lot. But right now, they have um, yeah. Kilkainet Kayetana replacing the server, Correct. which is the middle blocker. Thoughts again with a good push, which leads to this free ball. Bumalik sa kanila ang bola. Said humingi. Mali yung set. Back set. Tolentino puts it away. Again, Kat Tolentino being the go-to girl for Choco Mucho. And alam mo yung kagandahan doon, kasi yung back line attack, minsan for some players, basta mapalo lang nila, basta matawid lang nila. Yeah. But again, oh. si Kat, very intentional with her angles. Yeah, always. Basically, it's... Tanggalin mo na yung linya nung... Oh. Yung, yung, the same ano, thing eh. It's ganun, the same effort from Kat. Oo, oh, ganun din pumalo eh. Galanza with the off-speed. That's the first off-speed that we've seen Galanza do today. Well, she's been blocked a couple of times in yeah. this game already. And Gemma Galanza just playing smart. Going for that cut shot. But this will come back. Panaka is also back for Phil. So Seth will get us going for this rally. They're two points away from pocketing set number three. Oh, has been getting a lot of balls here today. Yeah. Oh. Parang siya talaga yung target ng dream line. And very intentional oh. din siya. Ay, naka-violet kasi si Coach <laughs> sa gilid. Said Domingo will go to the bench as BDL is back serving. And it's seen her in almost two sets already. 17 will be serving 13. Gemma. Cheng saw that. They go to touch from behind. We talked about the same effort from Catolentino, yeah, no? Right. Sa approach niya, sa power, and again, yung matchup nila ni Tots Carlos. Inabangan very evident talaga. dito, yes. no? Oh, inabangan talaga. Dahil alam natin, both of them are gonna go swinging for their teams. 18 points for Tots. Set point. Seven set points. Just like earlier. Oh, Valdez couldn't keep it in play. Not the most powerful hit from Nunag, pero talagang pinalagpas niya sa kamay ng blockers. No? Sa ibabaw niya pinalo, and uh, Eliza just out of position to defend that running hit. 18 will be serving. 24, Coach Sherwin calls a timeout. Ala, Coach Tai Bundit yung magsaserve na. <laughs> At all the time out. Pangs! Ang gumalaw, Pangs! Ako na kalawa. Si Ronnie. Pwede mo siyang pawn lang. Running long, tas pawn. Open as pawn. Pawns, open ka lang. Yes, sir. Ang momento na. Yes, sir. Yan na lang kamal. Eh, green line! Happy, happy. We're basically where we were in set number one. 24-17. Tapos, nag-point. Yung Choco Mucho naging 24-18, tapos nagtawag si Coach Sherwin. Sabi ko nga sa'yo, naniniguro siya. 
So ito na naman ang gagawin niya. And I remember Coach Tai would always do that back in Ateneo and even in the PVL. He will wait till that last moment to annoy the other team or the other player and call that timeout. Just for extra gamemanship, di ba? That's the game within the game, as they say. Alam mo, pinag-uusapan natin yung mga matchups sa team, sa players, pero the biggest matchup talaga dito ay yung uh, mind games between the coaches. Oh, for sure. And very different coaches also. Very different personalities. Very different approach. So two set points saved by Choco Mucho. Panaga will gift the Green Light Cool Smashers set number three in their semi-final matchup here at the Phil Oil Flying B Center. Kita natin, uh, Panaga got a little bit of help from the net, but regardless, wala sa position yung defender doon, and she gets the third set for the Green Light Cool Smashers. Two sets to one, semi-final matchup number two. On a Friday doubleheader, we'll be back. Earlier today, the Signal HD Spikers continue to be undefeated here in our 2022 Open Conference. They win in three sets. That's our first semifinal matchup. Our second semifinal matchup, Dreamline is ahead two sets to one. And we've had a pattern here so far. Set one, the odd sets going to Dreamline. Wala tayong dikita na set so far, Mela. Ito naman. Panic naman sa cream line ng set number three. And yun ngayon struggle for both teams, no? Parang nahihirapan talaga silang maghabol. And you haven't seen a comeback with a series of points. Tapos nakaabante. So again, whoever sets the pace early on in the set, they take that set. Kaya naman, itong Choco Mucho. Let's see how they bounce back here in the second set. Bea De Leon was injected back in the game in the latter part of the third set. So let's see if she starts here on set number four. We know she can create an impact. She had a good game in their quarterfinals match, scoring um, eight points, if I'm not mistaken. Pero they're gonna need more help and they, they're gonna need to activate their middle game as uh, we kept mentioning and at the same time as Kocho kept mentioning in his timeout. So it's been Captain and Tino again for Choco Mucho. And dito naman sa kumuna ng cream line, every rotation, it's a different player na nagsistep up para sa kanila. And, very evident yan dito sa atake nila, 15 to para sa 10 lang ng Choco Mucho. And surprisingly, yung blocks din ng green line, mas nang ibabaw kontra sa mas matangkad na Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They're and, not the uh, uh, best blocking team, obviously, as uh, we have established. That's right. Defense is there, though, for, for Choco Mucho as well as green line. Pero whoever gets to convert better in, in terms of attacks, sila talaga yung nang ibabaw. And uh, that's what that's we see Pongay Gaston here. Coach O trying to mix up his players kung sino ba talaga yung gagana contra Cream Life. Tots, uh, Carlos leads all scorers with 18 points. Tolentino with 13. Valdez, by the way, with 14. Lunag off the bench with 8 points. And the first point goes to Choco Mucho, Flying Titans. Gemma Galanza on your screens with 7 points for herself. Domingo with eight, Panaga with eight, Ogunsanya with six. 
Gem and Luna, again, I said eight points. Yes, ma'am. Because Gem Magalans have been constantly trying to go down the line no? in, in her attacks on the open side. And it's, it's very odd because it's a bigger blocker for her. Eh? It's Cantolentino who has hit the antenna. So I guess we want to see more of her angled hits. One of the most difficult players of Gem is the most na cross-court attack. But speaking of the most difficult Tots Carlos right on cue, delivering for Green Life from that combination play. Bentang benta yung talon ni uh, Panaga dun. Ah, hampas sa gitna. As Ooh. Luna, sorry, Ogunsanya answers as she pounds the pavement for their second point here. Alam mo yung hinihingi lang naman ito ni Coach O is makadikoy itong uh, medals ng Choco Pucho. But if mabibigyan ng magagandang sets talaga yung gitna nila, kilala natin eh, yung, yung lineup nila sa gitna, Luna, De Leon, Ogunsanya, kayang-kaya mong gamitin. Look at the recovery of Des Cheng. Of Lazaro Revilla, rather. Ball is back with Dreamline. Thoughts decides against it, sends it over. Combination play! And it is Gaston who puts it away. Okay, Gaston, the energy body of uh, the Flying Titans. You know, she's, she's giving in good and positive aura in this game at the same time, delivering numbers for. Uh, the Flying Titans and uh, kumagat nga itong blockers ng uh, cream line doon kay Ogunsanya. And yun yung nagiging difference kasi boom eh. Once na active yung gitna, ang laking bagay para sa mga outside hitters ng Chocomucho. Thoughts pa bawi. Wow. The... Carlos attacking like she, she didn't have any blocker at all. The power level of the attacks on both ends, huh? Now on both sides going up a notch here in set number four. Three, make that two, serving three. Oh, kanina. First time. First time. Service error. Boom Gonzalez with Melatuna. You're watching us on One Sports. And everybody watching in different platforms. And signal play. Good day to you or the replays on One Sports. Maraming salamat. Atienza, as Mela mentioned. Tahi tahi miklang. 25 excellent digs already as Bongay Gaston sends it way, way over. Dreamline with 10 service errors. Chocomucho, that was the third coming from Pauline. Oh, what a block. Access denied by Gia de Guzman. Misa Molde well guarded there by de Guzman. Hey, let's remind everybody, nasabi na ni Mela, nasabi ko na rin, para dun sa mga kakachunin lamang, Sunday, we all go to the Mall of Asia Arena. A bigger capacity for more fans to watch and enjoy the PBL 2022 Open Conference. Speaking of Open, the Donut Hole. Huge opening on the defense of Creamline there. And the lead goes back to Choco. Impressive. Uh Position here by Isa Molde. Acknowledge that all the defenders have moved back. Abut Sanya played pretty much like seven years under Coach RDJ. Now a new life with Coach O. Second ball put away. Gia Morado getting involved even more in this game. Kani na yung mga plays niya na highlight na natin, but. In this fourth set, meron agad siyang solid block, meron agad siyang drop ball. And like I kept mentioning, if it's rotation, it's a different player that gets highlighted for Cream Line. Valdez, 14 points for her. Ball there, trying to go to the same spot. Galanza was there. A push. Gia goes for the second. Is over-received, over-dug. Molde, Galanza. De Guzman will go back row. That's too low. Easy pickings for Jerry Luna. The defense working well for Choco Mucho. And, uh, kanina nga, nakita natin na uh, it 
itong uh, cream line, nagpapalit din ng blocking pattern when it's Isa Paul the attacking the ball. Si Seth yung bumantay dun sa down the line, si Gia yung sa cross court. Pero when it comes to blockings, in that replay, manana egg ang Choco Mucho. Thoughts from the back. What a response by Tots Carlos. What a dig still by Lazaro Rivilla. Just could not keep it in play. So six all. This is the first time that we've had a set like this. 13 excellent digs. Seems way more than that, but uh, <laughs> she's ready to receive. Wong to Tolentino. Ooh, Seth Domingo was there. Valdez from behind. Underhand to Molde. Dots goes to Gemma. And that is a 29th excellent set by Gia De Guzman. The connection built between De Guzman and Gemma. Makita mo, perfect timing from Gemma. Late na late doon si Cherry Nunag. At yun yung inintay natin kanina na cross court kasi it hasn't been successful for her whenever she plans to go down the line. Good serve. The chase by Wong. This received by Pauline Gaston, which means a two point lead belongs right now to the Green Line Cool Smashers. One Sports is available for free on Signal Play. One Sports Plus is available on Signal Play Premium for 75 pesos a month. Let's go to Alexis Tinsai and a report on Duki. With 12 points last game, former legendary DLSU lady Spiker Duki Ogonsanya said that it's such an ecstatic feeling to play with vibrant people like the Flying Titans. Since the last time she experienced this kind of energy is when she was still playing in UAAP. Even if the core of Choco Wucho is already solidified, she's grateful to become such a strong and passionate addition who can contribute to the team. All in all, she's just hoping she can give out a good game and let the crowd enjoy what they are watching. Let's return to the Tense Bisco action here on set four. I have no doubt the crowd is enjoying every single bit of action here, no matter what you're, who you're rooting for. Night and pride or good vibes. As they say, it is Chocomucho versus Creamline. 9-6, a breathing room here for Creamline in this tighter set number four. Another good serve by Seth. Soft spike. Para kay Kat. Free ball. Dina back to Cat over the blocker. Seth sends it back. Balik kay Tolentino ng gigil. Sini Domingo has been doing an excellent job in that floor defense. And in Cat Tolentino's second attempt, there was just too much juice from that spike. <laughs> Hindi natin na activate eh. Di ba? Kat, huwag kang matapot ma-block. Ang ginagawa mo kasi pinipilit mo kuhanin sa top, hinibabawan mo eh. Hindiin mo. Meron ka pa, pinapractice mo lagi ito eh. Di ba? Bakit tayo natin gawin? Don't be too plain safe. Attack, and then we cover tayo. Okay? Girls, action with faith ang kailangan. Well, that's a classic Coach O timeout, which... Basically encapsulates the high risk, high reward. Kailangan sagal mo. You know, he wants a cat to just go for it and not go over the blockers. At saka po, ang ganda kasi nung sinabi niya. I mean, for a player na medyo 
nadadown na. Pinaalala niya yun, nagagawa mo yan sa training, di ba? So, you know, yung maaalala ng player are the correct things that she does in practice. Shift in mid-air by Isa. Chance ball para sa Choco Mucho after a disorganization on the side of Creamline, but the ball is back with them. Banaga will push it to the other side. Thoughts was there for coverage. They go to Gemma. Thoughts again there to dig it up. Gemma will try again! Finally, oh, oh, oh. Gemma Galanza successful in her down the line attempt. And uh, it's a better chance for her because Isa Molde was the one guarding that down the line. Oh, but again, it's the full swing. And again, in between the blockers. I was just about to say, Kanina pa nag sa to si Senna. So, hindi ko muna sinabi, ha? So, hindi. That's not on me. Okay, that's not on me. Said Domingo, breaking that that run. Dahil remember, we were at 6-all. Ama. So, that was a 5-0 run. Finally, an answer by Choco Mucho to make it 11 Seven. Kalansa sa gitna. Wong. BDL finally gets a tip to go. The luxury of having Bea de Leon on the court is uh, talagang babantayan ng blockers. And look at her reach. Napakataas. Not even Panaga could get a touch on that spike. Two straight points for Chocomucho to cut the lead down to three. Panaga all alone. Well, actually, not all alone. Gaston was there to challenge, but out of position. Ano established na yung matchups ng mga wings ng uh, both Dreamline and Choco Mucho, but honestly, what's gonna set the pace for the team na mananalo dito is really how they manage to activate yung kanilang mga gitna. Oof. Back to back service errors. Para sa cream line. To cut the lead down to three for a free point. PDL. Serving. Head to head matchup 3 0 so far. Para sa cream line. Since 2019. Thoughts. Good reaction by Choco to keep it alive, and it's in the hands of Gia. Galanza for her 10th point of the match. Combination play successful for Cream Line. And the fans go wild as there's so much power in that last hit from Gemma Galanza. Oh, what a slice. Kala nila sa gitna talaga. Dadaan ni Gia yung play na yun. What a magician. <laughs> Galanza's recovered huh? after that, that shaky uh -oh. spell. Galina, 10 points. Recovered attack. big time. Oh, big time. Valdez with the rejection. And the lead is back to five. Everything's just going right here for Dream Line. Blocking is on point. Attacks are on point. They're delivering more combination plays, more angled hits. They're going big and heavy also on the service line. As always. Received by Molde. Gaston gets it through the block and no coverage there as Pauline slices it through. Relinquished the starting role today to Isa Molde. As Isa is coming off that 18 point production. Capitolentina service. Gia. Gemma, sorry, that was Atienza. Thoughts? Revilla. Atienza. Back set. Thoughts? Oh, that was lower, faster. And for Thoughts, Carlos, stronger. As they reinstall a 15 to 10 lead. Get the set. 
just unable to close the gap. Para sa blockers, and Choco Mucho. Carlos is up to 22 points already right now. While Valdez is up to 16 points and a second technical timeout here for the Greenline Cool Smashers ahead by its biggest lead here in set number four. Sulit sa yang ijipan ng note kasama ang Sulit TV, entertainment, sports, news, and information, and dito lahat. Mapapanood ang TV5, One Sports, One PH, at lahat ng free bear channels. Siksik na, digital at malinaw pa sa alagang 780 pesos lang. Tumawag lang sa 0 to 8 o maaari rin pumunta sa piling authorized nationwide stores. Mabibili rin sa Shopee at Lazada. Bisitahin ang Sulit TV Facebook page para sa iba pang mga detalye. Kaya... Ang pahinihintay nyo, pili ng Sulit TV powered by TV5 as this lead has ballooned to 7 now, 17-10. It was only tight for a few minutes after 6-6, Mela. Nung pinag-usapan natin, bumitaw na ng 11-4 run. Look, girls. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi uubra sa atin kapag nag-iintayan tayo. We have to be patient. Isa-isahin natin po pwede pa yan. Po, pwede pa yan, girls. Believe me. You just have to believe yourself. Kailangan nyo magbitiwala din kasi eh. Simple lang ginagawa. Dina, pag nagkabalik ka ng bola, kailangan tayo umikot. Yan. Yeah. We see Josh Milanjeva also in attendance here in this game. Enjoying the semifinals match between Creamline and Choco Mucho. Si Mimi ya ang uh, katabi. Katabi na ni Josh. Josh. Oh, okay. Nakatago eh. <laughs> 17 tennis are scored. Like I said, 11 to 4 run for Creamline as we speak after the 6 all count. Galanza able to dig it up on one leg. Carlos, that is in. Oh, what a play! And Gia Morano de Guzman sending that ball underhand, isang paalang, and uh, Todd Scarless just ready to recover. Oh wow, everything rolling right now. On one leg, she underhands that one, and then Todd just uses her fingertips, and it still finds the line. And then mo, even when Freeman is playing out of system, he still managed to bring <laughs> in the numbers needed. Better pass there for Isa Molde. And another point. Creamline just breaking the dam wide open right now at 19 to 10. Panaga was done well for herself too. Nine points on six attacks, a couple of blocks, an ace, and a service error. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a comfortable lead here in fourth set. Mapika e yung yung 13 to 4 run na yun. That might tell us. Tang Ponce comes in for the very first time to replace. Then then Lazaro Rivera. Isabelle had 18 points in the last outing. Could not get herself going here. San Domingo. Big pass to Molde, and just as I said, Molde has been blocked. Domingo and Carlos Wall really steady on top. Nakikita mo yung pagpayong nito ni Setters, even that follow-through dun sa kanyang kamay. 
really penetrating her block against Lisa Molde. Of the four remaining teams in the semifinals, Streamline is worst, quote unquote, I don't, I don't want to use the word it, but worst blocking team. But they're blocking at the right time right now, partner. And everything falling for the cool smashers. areas for improvement nila, no? They really work on it and it translates in the game. And as you mentioned, everything's just going right here for Kareem Line. 23 big points already for Tots Carlos. 20 on attacks. One block, two aces. Make that three. As her teammates approach her, they're inching closer to get this game against Chocomucho. A 16 to 5 run by the Creamline Cool Smashers. Some of the supporters of Chocomucho are in shock here at the Philoid Flying V Center. Rookie. Dots from behind. And a collision between Wong and Molde. Gia also distracting them a little bit on that chase. You see it here in the replay. That was a good defense by Des Cheng, but uh, it was a bit too tight at the net. And uh, nakailangan to si Molde and si Dino Wu. And yeah. is uh, two just points two points away. Points away. Yeah. 17 to 5. And another chance to pound here. Oh, good reaction by Gia to keep this play alive and score! An avalanche of points from last year's runner-up. The Green Line Cool Smashers looking to assert its mastery on the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Valdez with 17 points on her own, and we are at match point. And a service ace from Fats Carlos. 25-11 in set number four, and they go 1-0 in this semifinal matchup. Big game here for Thoughts Carlos and the rest of the field line post smashers, they were in complete control of the game. Kanina medyo nikitan, but their veteran wits really showed talagang yung pagiging ate nila kumpara dito sa Choco Mucho Flying Titans, mas nanaig. And uh, it was really a team effort by the cool smashers. As we kept mentioning, different players really stepped up every rotation. Pero ito nga si Tots Carlos still leading the charge and becoming the top scorer for the Cool Smashers. That is the confirmation of the scores and the win. 25-18, 17-25, 25-19, and a 19-5 run to finish off Chocomucho and come up with a 25-11 set number four. As Creamline is one up in this semifinal matchup. We'll take a break and we will be back to wrap this baby up.
Back inside the Full Oil Flying V Center where we had 5,000, more than 5,100 fans packed uh, watching two exciting semifinal matchups. This one, the second one, won by Creamline. 25-18, 17-25, 25-19, 25-11. Your best player, Melatunay? Well, nakaka-overwhelm yung crowd dito. Pero if there's one player who did not show signs of getting overwhelmed and stay focused in this whole game, is really Tots Carlos, who managed to score up 26 big points in the semifinals. Game 1, coming off 21 attacks. One block, four aces. At mid 12, excellent big span ang kasama. And uh, I guess he's with... Alexis Tinsai right now. With me is Tots Carlos. Tots, congratulations again. This is not your first time to become player of the game. Sinabi mo sa kanina Nina na ngayong semifinals bilog yung bola. Pero paano mo napainit yung laro at napasa inyo yung end game? Um, one thing na work out din namin ngayon is the end game. Nakita nyo man sa mga previous games namin, during the third set kami medyo bumababa yung laro. So isa yun sa mga tinabaho talaga namin in the training. And as the panel and I were talking about kanina, we saw how you were correcting your errors on the spot. Same with your teammates. How important is maturity this semifinals? Malaking bagay yung maturity this semis eh. Kasi yun nga, sabi ko bilog ang bola. So if more errors, mas malaki yung chance, yung possibility na matalo kami. So yun, I think yung, yung pinaka nagustuhan ko sa team ngayon, namin sa team ngayon, is the composure. So yun, nakita naman na after an error, um, move on na agad, next point na agad. And kita talaga yung pag-move on nyo and talaga pag-bawi just the point after. And ano namang masasabi mo sa fans who waited for hours, slept here overnight just to watch you guys? Um, thank you so much sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa amin. Uh, actually, not just Creamland, the Rabisco teams, uh, the Choco Mucho, sobrang na-appreciate namin kayo. Sa mga taong, I'm really sorry sa mga fans na hindi nakapasok at hindi nakabili ng ticket. This game is for you guys. So talaga na-appreciate namin kayo. And also, I just want to thank uh, Rabisco for, for the unending support and Sir JCN, Sir Alan, lahat na ng bumubuo ng uh, Rabisco management. Sobrang na-appreciate po namin kayo. Sobrang grateful, grateful po kami sa inyo. And also, hi to my family. Hi Kylie, hi Chelay. Sa mga pinsan ko, Ma, Lola, sa lahat na nanonood sa amin, maraming maraming salamat po. Yes, congratulations again, Tots, and to the rest of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Let's turn back to the panel for more intense volleyball action concluded by the Rebisco Face Off. Thank you very much, Alexis Tinsai. Congratulations, Tots Carlos. What a classy thing to do and say, showing love to the fans, especially the ones who could not make it here or what? who are outside, who could not make it in dahil walang tickets. Mga natulog dito kagabi, mula kagabi pa. At yung mga pumunta ng maaga kanina umaga para pumila, para mainitan. Some of them, Nella, as we're looking at set for highlights, natanggap na nila na hindi sila makakapasok. They still stuck around outside just to get a glimpse. Yes, Doon sa mga I pagdating. Pagdating yung mga player. Na, yeah. Masuya pa man lang nila yung mga idols nila. At galing pa sila sa mga malalayong lugar. Right. And it's just a cycle of appreciation yeah. kasi... Ito, si Tots, nag, nagpakita sila magandang laro para ipakita how well they appreciated the fans. And yung fans naman, yung nga, staying here even without them securing the tickets just to show how much they appreciate our PBL athletes. So, Pero okay lang, dahil sa linggo, lilipat oh, naman tayo sa mga location. As we're looking at this set for highlights, uh, and as I mentioned, really a barrage of points. A 19-5 run to finish off their sister G, uh, team, Choco Mucho. Uh, flying Titans and as I said continue their dominance on the team they're 4-0 against uh, Choco Mucho but that's just for us history para sa kanila ang importante 1-0 sa semifinals ito ang atin uh, and what pops out for you Mela pagdating sa ating mga numero well napaka laki nung uh, diferensya sa attack 58 to 33 but we have to credit that sa naging depensa talaga ng team line Cold Smashers as we take a look at that 82 digs compared to just 54 and you know with the weapons that Gia has um, every game talagang kayang-kaya nilang mag uh, translate into attacks and yung blocks di ba very unexpected because as we know uh, the better blocking team talaga is the Choco Mucho Flying Titans pero ito nga si Creamline uh, Tots talked about the correction in game and dyan din sila bumawi sa blocks 10 kumpara sa 7 and although yung errors nila medyo nag-pile up 30 oh, oh, 
Pero again, meron na naman silang isang department kung saan lumabang din sila, which was their service aces na nine compared Grabe. to just three of the Flying Titans. Grabe mo nga. Grabe. Overwhelming in the digs, overwhelming in attacks, negating the 15 more errors of the Creamline Cool Smashers. In the meantime, as we mentioned on Sunday, all because of you, you asked for it, so there's a bigger venue, and we will start with our classification round. Uh, Army Black Mamba, Lady Troopers, the Cherry Eagle crossovers will be at 11 a.m. And then, balik tayo sa semifinals. Chocomucho Flying Titans and Creamline Cool Smashers. Switch schedule naman tayo, Bella, because they will go our first game. And then in the second game at 6 p.m., still, of course, in the Mall of Asia Arena. That another series, Signal and Petrogas. I know it was a straight sets win by Signal, but Dikit, eh. hindi mo ma, oh, ma oh. It's, you don't do it justice by saying, oh, na straight sets oh. dito ang Petrogas. Dahil napakadikit sa dulo, nagkakatalo. Yeah. And then to the last second, you won't know kung uuwi yes. na ba ng straight sets yung leading yes. team. Unlike nung ating second uh, semifinals, two very different matches, but equally exciting at magpapatuloy yan. Sa linggo, the Mall of Asia Arena. That will do it for us here at the Philoi Flying V-Center today as Signal continues to roll unbeaten, Creamline continues to roll unbeaten, and they both get their doses ahead in the semi-final series 1-0. and oh. For Greg Almeri and all the hard-working people for One Sports, Mela Tunay, Alexis Tinsai, I'm Boom Gonzalez. We'll see you on Sunday for more of the semi-finals of your Premier Volleyball League, the heart of Philippine Volleyball.